Hi there, I'm Kathy Barker from Software Solutions and in this particular video we're going to have a look at some of the auditing features that come with Excel. First of all I want to go to a spreadsheet that's got a bit of a data in it and got a bit of formulas in it. I might actually go back to an earlier sheet that we created called VLOOKUP. Now when I'm in a spreadsheet, especially if I didn't design it, I often think when I'm sitting on a number, let's say we choose this number randomly, F11 has got the number 5000 in it. I often sit on a number and think to myself, if I delete that or if I change that, am I going to muck anything up? And I'm really not 100% sure, especially if I didn't design the spreadsheet. And I sort of can't tell just by looking at it what's going to be affected if I delete it or change it. So this is when I employ some of the auditing features which are on the formulas tab in the ribbon. What we're wanting to do to see who depends on this number is trace dependence. When you trace dependence, literally Excel produces arrows pointing at all the formulas that would be affected if you were to change that number. And so it's at that point where I think maybe I won't change that number. So to remove the arrows, just below the trace dependence button is a remove arrows button. So that's when you're sitting on a number. Um, let's say I choose this number and I trace the dependence. It basically says that formula, that formula and that formula will be affected if you change that value, which is absolutely true. And then I can remove the arrows. When I'm sitting on a formula though, I can see who precedes that formula and gives me that answer. So if I was to sit on this number here and I said trace precedence, Precedents are things that come before a formula. So trace precedence basically says this number 7000 and this range here, they both come together to give you that answer. And so that would graphically show me those variables that were involved in giving you that result. It may actually highlight when something's not right and I can remove the arrows. So trace precedence and trace dependence and show and remove arrows is really quite handy. And we've looked at show formulas before where I can click this and show the formulas and I can click it and hide the formulas. Now another thing I think that's useful when you're auditing a spreadsheet or, or just studying a spreadsheet is to leave notes and comments. Notes is something I leave for myself. Um, there's some spreadsheets that I only work on maybe once every six months or once every 12 months. And the way that it's designed isn't necessarily conducive to the way that I think. And so I leave myself a little note just to give me a quick um, head start on how I'm supposed to work with that spreadsheet. So if I was to right click say a cell and I went new note, then this comes up. I don't have to have my name there, I can get rid of that. So I can delete that. I can even turn the bold off if it's, if it's still on. But I might say um, these are valid part numbers. You must select one of these. And so I've left a little note. When I click away, it disappears. But when I rest on the cell that has the red indicator, the note reappears. So you can create as many notes on different cells, sometimes explaining what a formula does or explaining what you're supposed to do once you fill in a cell. It's all helpful information for you or for others. Now sometimes we like those notes to stay up, so you can right click one or more of the cells and you can say show hide note. And show hide note will keep it up and you can therefore move it just by grabbing its edge and you can even resize it just by dragging one of its corners. So often when I get sent a spreadsheet and someone says, Kath, it's not working, I quickly add a note and I might say, I think this figure's wrong um, and so on and so forth. Um, or I leave notes for people on how to fill in or how to work with a particular spreadsheet. If that note's up like that, you could actually print the notes. If I go Control P, change the portrait orientation to landscape orientation, I can see the notes not showing. So I simply go to page setup, and if I went to sheet, I'd be able to say um, in the note in the comments and notes as displayed on the sheet, and OK. And so that would actually print. The notes as well. So you have the option to, under page setup, to print the notes under sheet or not. So I can turn it back off, none. Yep. 
If I want to edit a note, just simply right click and edit the note. Uh, maybe there's a spelling mistake or you want to add more detail and simply um, right click will allow you to delete the note as well. So you can delete it here. You'll also be able to access those sorts of options when you go to review. Review will let you delete a note, for example, um, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go right click and delete. Right click, delete note. The other thing is not only notes but comments. Here's your notes options in here actually. There's your notes there. Comments not to be confused with notes involve others. So comments is more of a conversation that you're having with somebody else about a spreadsheet where notes are more like post-it notes where you're just leaving a note for yourself for whatever reason. If I think maybe one of these figures is a bit dodgy, I might right click and add a new comment. And of course I could choose that button as well. But if I choose new comment, here I start a conversation. And so usually I go at and I mention somebody's name. Um, so um, I'll just go Sharon. And then I'll say, um, I'm thinking this price is incorrect. Question mark. And so I'll post that. And that will actually send an email to Sharon saying, Kathy's made a comment about this file and about this sheet and about this cell, and she thinks that the price is incorrect. In which case, Sharon will be able to come back and she'll be able to actually click here and reply to my comment. Um, no, it is correct. I've just checked. So now I'm pretending to be Sharon. And she'll post that. At some point, you can also delete the thread of conversation because it's been resolved. Or you can just mark it as resolved, which just makes it dim, but there's still a record of that conversation visible for everybody to see. But I'll just actually delete it. So if you want to involve others, I think the right-click method myself is the easiest way. If you want to involve others, then make a new comment. But if you just want to make a note for yourself, then right-click and just choose new note. And they're really handy ways of auditing your spreadsheet. I do hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. I'd love to see you on the next video where I can show you about how you can protect your spreadsheet so other people don't muck it up. Kakite.